I'm going on a date. Okay. Oh, no. And while answering a question, Liv used forbidden words. Oh, she's starting to rebel, guys. Hello, my little features. Welcome back to another episode of a final gen of the Not So Very Challenge. Little Liv, who is currently having herself a little sleep because, well, today is her first ever day of high school. Now, it's actually technically not her first day of high school. It's her first day of middle school because I have the preteen mod installed, which means currently Liv is a preteen. So instead of having like teenage homework, this blue one here, she will be doing this red one here, which is middle school homework. Preteens are a little bit different. They last for about three days. They're smaller and more petite in their stature. And also the big change is their interactions are a little bit different. So they won't be able to do romance or anything like that yet, which I think is actually a really nice middle stage to go through after you've been a teenager. And Jade, and has just aged up into an elder. Oh, Jaden, you old, you old, so old. So yeah, it's a good chance for me to focus a little bit more on the skills that she needs to learn. And also we can just kind of like learn a little bit more about Liv, what her personality is, because I think as a teenager, you start to come into your own a little bit more. I love her appearance. I'm so happy with it. I'm actually recording this before. I've been able to see what your guys' reaction to her aged up appearance is. So I'm really hoping you guys like it as well. And I think the friends that she makes in middle school will be the same as the one she makes in high school. So I want to see if she starts making some good friends. I do have, um, oh my gosh, I'm having this annoying bug where they won't use the outdoor bins. Like, I just can't get them to use them, but they keep dumping the trash on the floor. So really, really annoying little bug there. But yeah, we'll see what friends she starts making, what kind of like opportunities she gets at school, because I do have a school's mod. So we'll see if anything happens there. Also, I've downloaded the Simda dating mod for Alicia, who we are trying to like, you know, at some point she needs to move out the house and like, you know, move on with her life. So I thought we would try the Simda dating mod today as well, because we won't be able to use it so much on Liv, maybe later on when she has to have an affair as part of not so berry, but definitely we won't be able to use it for the first part of our life because she has to marry her high school sweetheart, whoever that might be. So the other thing I need to do in this episode is Jaden really wanted to get Liv a pet, a dog. So while she's at school, we will have a little look at the adoption list and see if we can find... <gasps> Oh, I think Briar is still sad that she wasn't able to have another child. But we will try and find a doggo and the adoption list that we think will be a good fit for Liv. And also, I think you start school in 20 minutes and you haven't actually done your homework. So please go ahead and do that. Also, I had to give her the gloomy trait when she aged up rather than the family orientated one. I couldn't give her family orientated as a teenager. She is going to be a little bit of a moody teenager. Now, this combined with the fact that she's kind of had whatever she wants in life, other than the fact that her parents drink all the time now since I bought a bar, means that she might have a little bit of moody teen years, but... That's also, like, I was a moody teenager. We've all been there. We all totally understand it. So I think she's going to be a little bit of a moody teenager. And we're going to start to see this kind of, like, underlying current in her life when, like, she feels like there's more. Like, things aren't right. She wants a bit more from life. And that kind of, like, has this discontent. Oh my gosh, please stop throwing the trash on the floor. This discontent that ends up in her eventual affair. We sowed the seeds early. And oh my gosh, you're going to be late. You're going to have to just give up on your homework. Maybe you can finish it at school. Not a great start to your school life. You were an A grade student in primary school. I don't know if it's going to be the same in middle school, but enjoy your first day at school, okay? And why did I buy the bar? I had to buy it because Briar had to reach level 10. But oh my gosh, all they do is drink all day. It drives me crazy. I mean, they're elders now. If they want to enjoy their twilight years with a little scotch or a little, you know, a little martini in hand, I can't stop them. But it doesn't mean it's not quite annoying. Oh, and look, Jaden, somebody sent you a fossil for your birthday. Maybe because they're trying to say that you're old and sort of fossil like now. How do you feel about that? And okay, Liv is out and about in town. Someone has just left an entire cake here. So you know what? I would just nom nom on that. And let's try the Cinder dating app. So should we go for a blind date or should we? No, don't enable. <laughs> of course. Or no, none of these things, none of these things. I think we go on a blind date. Now, I don't actually know what Alicia's like uh, preferences are. So I'm not going to say female or male. I'm just going to go for like a blind date. And will they come here? Like, can we just hang here? This is quite a nice relaxed spot to have a date. Oh my gosh, you're so loud. You're so loud. Hush, shopkeeper, hush. Oh, and we're going somewhere. I'm going on a date. Okay. Oh, no. I mean, Briar would be so freaking jealous right now, but you've set me up with a robot. No. I mean, 
no. For Briar, yeah, but for you, no. I'm not going to agree to that date. Am I getting scummed? Is this like a scum up where they just set you up with robots? Like, actually set me up with a real life human being, please. This is going to be like Tinder for me, where like every time it brings me to the Sea Worlds menu, I'm going to be like, oh, I don't like actually. I'm going to swipe right. Wait, is that good? Swipe left. I've never played Tinder. Okay, cute. Liking the little bow. Can we just like, I'm already in town, so maybe we can just like meet in town. Okay, we're here. We're dating. Let's sit together. Why don't we, I'm gonna, well, I've just eaten actually. I don't need to order any more food. So we can just chit chat and get to know each other. Okay, and this is the sim. I can see them working into town. Madeline Bacon. Their surname is literally Bacon. This can only be a good thing. And oh my gosh, please don't just sing in her face. Why don't we do a nice introduction? Oh my gosh, stop singing. There we go, okay. Oh, and she's she's uncomfortable. Is it because you were just singing in her face? Because that would freak me out a lot as well the first time I'd met someone. No, don't go. We, we've literally just met. Oh my gosh, when somebody literally just meets you on a date and then immediately gets up to go. That would actually just ruin me. Please sit down. Like, let's, why are you feeling uncomfortable? Let's, let's chat. Do you want to hear some gossip from the grapevine? Okay, so she's a bean blender at a coffee shop called the Frothy Foamer. And I find her really fun. Oh, is she coming to sit next to me? Hello. Oh, hi. Oh, and she's also told us that sometimes things wash up on the beach in a bottle from lost pirates. <gasps> no way. I, I actually have a pirate in my family. In fact, this woman doesn't like sitting down. I feel like she wants to like stand up and like, you know, walk around. So we'll do that. We'll do that. And Madeline dislikes the violin. Okay. <laughs> Look at this guy just walking by with an alligator. An alligator hoodie onwards. Okay, why don't we go and walk to the beach? We can sit underneath this little umbrella since it's raining. I want to find a message on the beach now. Oh, Madeline is also a dance machine. Okay, she's quite fun. And she has the lover personality type. Okay. <gasps> Wait, what did you say? How did you put your foot in your mouth? What did you do? <gasps> did you try and drop a flirt and it didn't work? Awkward. Okay, so we're making a little sandcastle in, in the silence. I mean, the first blind date you go on, it doesn't have to be the one you're going to marry for the rest of your life. But, oh, Liv wants to invite, invite over Erwin. Okay, this is good because I'm still on my home lot. So I can like flick between them. So Liv is home from school. She's feeling gloomy, but she has invited Erwin Cameron over. Now, every time she invites somebody over who is like, he, I think is supposed to be a preteen, but I didn't add the preteen trait to him. Oh, no, he is a preteen. Okay, he is a preteen. I'm gonna CC them up real quick. So let's go ahead and do Erwin. So this is Erwin currently. Let's go ahead and add some CC. I've kept like his dirty blonde hair. He is unflirty and he's a green fiend. He's a bodybuilder and he likes fitness and romantic music, but hates storybook deco. I don't know what that is, but okay. So I'll keep like his little hoodie and short combo. And that's Erwin. Oh, I need to shrink him back down again. I think he was about here. So I don't, oh, can I tell you like whether she's attracted to people? I don't know if it's too soon. Where is Erwin? He's here. Okay, she's already starting to show attractiveness preferences even as a preteen. I'm obviously not going to pursue any romance, but... It's interesting she asked to see him after school. These guys are hanging out together, just doing some swings. Oh, and now she's feeling sick from the swings. Okay, <laughs> bless you. And then back on the day on the beach. Okay, how are things going? It's not like the fieriest day I've ever seen. I'm gonna try just a little pickup line again. Just a little, little casual one, see if there's anything here. In fact, do you find her attractive? Hmm, you have no attractiveness preferences to her at all. And actually, previously, we've seen you be attracted to Elder. You, I mean, you find Princeton extremely attractive. He's a married Elder Sim. Maybe it's just not meant to be between these two. The flirt did go well, but it's not changing whether she's like into her or not. I'm going to keep going for it and just like see what happens because she's feeling flirty now as well. And I'll get them to like swap numbers because they've met through the app, but like let's get each other's real life phone numbers. Okay, she seems quite happy with that. That's nice. Oh, and following a few brief moments of silence, Madeline Bacon expressed that she doesn't have any noteworthy things to say that would satisfy Alicia. Perhaps Alicia is already attractive enough in the eyes of Madeline, but it doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like they're that into each other, I'm afraid. Oh, guys, we tried, but it's only our first ever date, you know? And this guy has now come to crash it anyway, which is just, I mean, so typical, but okay. Oh, he's literally just talking over us now. Wow, I see how it is. And yeah, the date was unsuccessful, but at least she got out there and went for a date, you know? Oh, and we've learned that he is single. Oh my gosh. Oh, you put the trash in the bin. 
Well done, Jane. At least somebody's putting the trash in the bin. Okay, so I'm like gonna vet all of like her school friends so closely because I've got to pick one to be my high school like sweetheart and I have to marry them. It's not like the other games. You know, I do like marrying my high school sweethearts. It doesn't always happen. I didn't think it was gonna happen with Briar, but somehow it did. I think Jaden has been in like happy shock ever since as well. I think he's literally just watching her like, I can't quite believe I married her. After all this time, I still can't believe her. Whenever he's sad, he comes downstairs and looks at her and then he's immediately like flirting and he's just never gotten over it. He's always loved it so much. But we know for Liv, it's not going to be quite the same case because of the affair. But she does after that, like, definitely try and make up for it. So we shall see. I'm going to get these guys to cook together dinner together. He's helping her with the homework and he's like, should we cook dinner for everyone? What do you reckon? Because that's going to help her with a cooking skill. My menu takes so long to load, like so freaking long. And Alicia has got the new quirk, phone fanatic. Is that because you've like discovered Cinder and now you can't get off your phone? Swiping, swiping away she is. I see how it is. So this is going to help with her cooking. I need to keep taking pictures of Neo for her photography. I also totally forget to get a puppy today because I got distracted by the date. So we'll do that tomorrow. But the only thing I can't level up is parenting. However, oh, we're going through a mean streak. Oh no. Refusing to help with the cooking. No, you need this for your skill. Go on. Please don't be mean. Oh gosh, teenagers, man. Teenagers are hard work. Okay, he's managed to convince her to help him. But I'm not too worried about the parenting skill that she needs to max out as well because after her affair she throws herself into like her family so i feel like it'll be really easy to get her parenting up if anything i'd like to get her to like level 10 on her career really quickly so that then when we have the affair and the fallout from it she can quit her job to look after her family and i've caught alicia showering in the rain again why don't you post about that on social media add to your fame a little bit i'm also noticing well all these dates are going on no poetry books are being written I'm just saying. Maybe all of this romance can inspire your poetry. Oh, I decided to look at Jaden's feelings towards Briar. Deeply in love. And he's also got the smitten. He can't explain it. But the sight of her makes his heart beat faster. That's so cute. Jaden is ultimate Briar simp. And I'm so there for it. Today is TV season premiere. But what it actually is, is puppy day. Although Liv does not know this yet. So she's heading off into school. You never make it into school in time. It's something I've noticed. We're currently a grade C. I feel like since she's a bit moody and she's going through a mean phase, she's not really focusing that much on school right now. So I'm just going to get her to focus on friends. And then Jaden is going to head downstairs and adopt a dog. Now I feel like he's like, yeah, I'm totally doing this for Liv. It's her birthday present. But he actually has the loves dogs trait. So really, this is just as much for him as it is for her. And we're going to go for a puppy so we can try and have it for as long as possible. There are a lot of puppies available. We've got Noodle the Pug. We've got Tofu the Pekingese. I love that name. Bobby the German Spitz. We've got Dino the Bichon Frise as well. Wait. Oh, Pekingese. The Bichon Frise. We've got Fidget. Oh, it's Samoyed. Oh, I love Samoyed. Oh my gosh. We've got Maddy, the Irish settler. We've got Magog, the Mastiff. Flash, the Schnauzer. And Opie, the miniature Schnauzer. Oh, he's actually an adult. She's actually an adult. We've also got a fox called Jim. Oh my gosh, a fox called Jim. We've got Nika, the Borzoi. I've never heard of that. And Senator, the Weimarana. 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 Is that how you say that? Senator's a cool name. I'm really tempted by Tofu because he's just like a ball of fun. She. And she looks like she's going to be really fluffy. I love how chunky she is. But we also have a Samoyed called Fidget. I mean, Fidget's a really cool name as well. Tofu or Fidget? Oh man, this is so hard. What about if I get both and then although i like dino as well oh, gosh guys this is really difficult i don't know what to do if i get dino i feel like love suits a bijan freeze because she's like quite like prim quite preppy i feel like a bijan freeze could be a good fit for her but a pekinese also could as well oh my gosh i feel like this suits her too though look how like precious that looks i'm very princessy <gasps> I might have to get tofu. I was originally very like drawn to tofu. So I think we go for tofu. Okay, this is going to be such a cool a little gift. Oh my gosh, why are you naked? Alicia, babes, no, you got to stop doing this. You've got to stop doing this. And while answering a question, Liv used forbidden words. It really shocked the teacher. <gasps> oh, 
she's starting to rebel guys she's starting to be naughty jaded i feel like she's like a little bit of a, like a daddy's girl so he'd be like oh i'm sure she didn't mean so whereas briar would be like she did what Jaden, we're pulling her out of that school. We're putting her into private school. Something's gone wrong. But he's just going to say, they're just words. And she can now no longer earn the good manners trait. What I might do, though, is... Can I sign up for her? Oh, Monday to Friday, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. We might go to a parent-teacher conference. He might do it in secret without telling Briar because he knows Briar would get quite stressed and quite angry about it. She wanted to send us to a different school anyway and just see what's going on. Now, let's go ahead and do a little cautious introduction to Tofu. We also have to see what Neo thinks about Tofu as well. But I think Tofu is so cute. Like got a little twisty tail like real life Lexi. Look at that little confident walk. Oh my gosh, Alicia, babe, you've got it. Alicia, what are you doing? You can't just be around folks naked. Just like get in the shower if you're going to be naked. Oh, okay. Tofu is feisty. Tofu is feisty. And look, immediately Briar's like picking up me. So like, I'll protect you. A feisty couch potato. The thing is, if it's feisty, I feel like that's quite good as well. Because Liv is currently going through a mean phase. So maybe she has this dog that like loves her but hates everyone else, you know? Although it will literally kill Jaden if the dog doesn't like him. Because like... Dog lover. Okay, he's got work in an hour, so we're gonna have to make a pretty fast decision. Okay, it seems to be accepting loves now. It's accepting some little butt scratches, which is good. So I think we've just got to go for it. Okay, Tofu's definitely aggressive. Tofu is feisty. Okay, it's a, a, a feisty little tofu block right here. But he's like, oh my gosh, I've got to go to work. We picked this one. We're just gonna have to go for it. Tofu it is. Yep, let's go for it and... So we've got tofu berry. And additionally, we always give... I got it wrong. I said that the dog would have the same eyes as the previous gen, but it wouldn't. You guys are right. It's going to have the same eyes as the current gen. And the same dress as well once we're able to dress it. But you obviously can't... You can't dress up little... Um, I'm just going to go into cast. You can't dress up puppies, but we'll go ahead and give him blue eyes. Her blue eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so... Couch potato, glutton, and aggressive. Let's go ahead and give you all oh, your eyes all the way over here. Let's go for some like blue eyes. What kind of blue? Oh, I kind of like that blue. I like that blue too. Let's go for this kind of blue. And I really wish I could put cute things on you, but you're too small right now. I don't know what it's going to look like once it's aged up, but I kind of like that it's this feisty little creature, little creaturine. And I like how this dog is lives on um, Jaden's. But it's poor Briar left teaching it how to do outside puppy uh, outside parties. And Jaina's came for a huge party. You keep having the centerpiece problem. Let's do improvised ones. Little performance gain and a bit of cash. Well done. Although we don't really need to worry about cash. Oh, and it's got a little spotted peas already. <gasps> what a little clever googie egg. Okay, it's a clever little tofu. I don't know how Neo's going to take all of this. But we shall see. Uh, Alice, not Alicia, Liv is back home from school today. She's at a good school, but I don't really feel like she's making the most of it. Because since uh, she's not really working hard while she's in school. And she's also not brought anyone home from school today. I guess because she's, she's going through a mean phase. But Liv, look. Who's this? We got you a, a birthday gift. A feisty puppy that's probably going to bite you. To be fair, all puppies bite. Like, literally all puppies buy. But this is your doggo. And it's going to be your generation's doggo. So we've got to make as much effort as we possibly can. Oh, instantly friends. Okay. That's nice. I feel like the way to Tofu's heart is through treats. Kind of ironic given its name. So let's go ahead and try and do that. And oh my gosh, you guys actually like each other. <gasps> okay, it was meant to be. Tofu was the right choice. Tofu was definitely the right choice. I think we're gonna have a pet that loves us and hates everyone. And why don't we take some pictures? We can get some little pictures of our puppy, increase our photography skill, and post them online for our friends. Although I can't seem to get a picture of the dog with its eyes open. Oh, there we go, finally. And look at you, Jaden, little sous chef. Well done. Okay, sous chefs. Why don't you guys do a bit of cooking, increase our cooking skill? Poor Jaden, he cooks all day and then he gets home and I'm like, cook again. Oh, Jaden's meant to be going to the parent-teacher conference. We'll cook to distract Briar and then we'll go to the parent-teacher conference. He's still just so buzzing because they've got a dog. <laughs> and we're letting Liv take a lead with the cooking today. So Jaden's just got like a... He's seen Briar and he's immediately fly. He is just like, you know, overseeing, but not actually directly getting involved. He's going to talk about this TV season premiere to try and distract Briar. 
Okay, geez, be careful, babes. Yeah, look, we're talking about this TV season premiere. But I think Briar has, like, the couch potato thing. Yeah, she does. She's got, like, the sedentary lifestyle, so he's moaning about it. Whereas I feel like she's gonna be like, ooh, what's that? TV season premiere? I don't mind if I do. And then she'll be distracted from the parent-teacher conference. It's perfect. And what the hell? Oh, Forrest's wife has died. Hey, Jaden, I was thinking about asking Agatha Crumplebottom out. She's pretty cute. Really, Forrest? I mean, I want to say I don't think that's a good idea, but I also want to say yes, go for it for the memes. So I think we're going to say yes, go for it. But that is really weird. And Liv is cooking level two. Well done. Smart cookie egg. Okay, the distractions have been done. Let's sign up for the parent-teacher conference. <gasps> and Lily has died. Oh my gosh, Lily. No freaking way. Oh, guys, Lily, I guess she was quite a lot younger than um, Robin. But yeah, Lily has died. Oh, poor Lily. I'm going to get you to watch their TV season premiere soon. In fact, all of you girlies watch it together. Are you already watching it? Nice. Whilst Jaden sneaks off to find out <laughs> if he needs to warn Briar about... Wait, you've got work again in an hour? That's so unfair. What? You should have to start your new job on the same day you just got promoted. But yeah, Jaden's snuck off to school to see if he needs to tell... To warn Briar that Liv isn't doing so well. I mean, she's not doing bad, but she was just always a grade A student, so. And Zayn rung prior to talk about Lily. Cute. Okay, Jaden's gone to work, but word in edgeways. Jaden wasn't impressed with the child's teacher. While the curriculum looks impressive, their pedagogy left something to be... Pedagogy? I don't know what that is. Leaves something to be desired, and there wasn't enough praise for their child. It looks like we might be switching live school. I'm just saying. I thought he'd come away being like all happy and be like, oh, my um, my child's doing so well. But instead he's like, maybe Briar's right. Maybe this isn't the right school. And Liv is not, oh, what the hell? Why is Trent here? Elder Trent is outside my door right now. I'm gonna invite him in just for the dramas, but what the hell? Why are you here after all this time? What is happening right now? What is happening right now? He's aged, but he's aged fairly well, I guess. He is an elder too. And even he's annoyed by the trash. Everyone's annoyed by the trash. And okay, so avoid speaking with him. She's gone to go have an intellectual discussion with Neo. That's actually a good little technique. I feel like if Jaden comes home and sees him, he's gonna actually hit the roof. He's gonna have a full breakdown. And Trent is a courageous captain. At the Strangerville National Base. So he joined the army. No freaking way. Maybe he's just lonely. I don't know. Like, I'm going to brag about my startup that I run. I don't like know if he's like lost a spouse. Yeah, he did. I'm sure he got married. So maybe he's just a bit lonely and wanted to catch up. He might be near the end of his life. Sometimes Sims come to visit me when they're about to die. Which sounds very deep. There's no flirting between us. It's It's kept it very like, we've not increased our romance bar at all. I still find him unattractive. I think she still finds Jaden unattractive. She was just that never that into people's attraction levels, I don't think. And we're gonna do it as it was nice to catch up, but it's time to go home. I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, okay. That, you know what? It could have gone really badly, but it was just like a nice way to say goodbye to close that chapter before we head to bed and wait for our little sous chef husband to come home. I don't like these new working hours, by the way. 8 till 2 a.m. sucks. And look, he's got a stress headache. It's like he knows. He has a spider sense that's like, Briar's ex is in the house. And now he's got a little stress headache, bless him. So as these two do a little bedtime snuggle, it's gonna be um, resulting in a chit chat and a change of schools for Liv. He's gonna be like, you were right. Maybe the like the school, the middle school here isn't the right fit for her. So when she ages up into a teenager and goes to high school, we will go ahead and get her to interview for like a specific school, like a private school kind of situation, which will mean a whole host of new Sims as well. So a new romance option in her future. And I don't know whether Briar would have told Jaden about the whole, oh, by the way, my ex came over sort of vibes. I think she would have done because what's the point of keeping things a secret from your spouse? That's worse. But it all ended up just fine in the end. And we also have our new little, where is he? Where's the little tofu? Oh, <gasps> sleeping. Oh, little cutie pie. You know who your mommy is. We also have little tofu joining the family. Sleeping with your eyes open, which is creepy. Already making fast friends with Liv. But a little feisty, aggressive puppy to be the pet for this gen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, 
please show it some love. I will see you next time for aging up love into a teenager and switching our schools over. We will be doing some more dates with Alicia and I'll see you guys then. Bye.